Welcome to another short video. Today I will introduce you to a new website called Flare Metrics. So the Flare Metrics website is a website which is showing metrics for Songbird. So you can see here the circulating supply for Songbird. So I guess they will probably also adapt it so you can, uh, as soon as Flare launches, probably switch then between Live and the testnet. And you can, we can see here is the circulating supply of 9.4 billion songbird. We can see how much the foundation holds. We can see the inflation authorized, inflatable balance, what else is there? And we've got the FTSO rounds in which epoch we are currently. Um, what else is there? So we can see the reward, expired rewards. We can see the exports which uh, uh, rewards which have been claimed. So as we know, so no rewards have been claimed so far because we're still waiting for the reward phase to end. So we can see that it's going to be the reward phase is going to end on the second of October, ten forty one a.m. Um, I would just check, have to check out which time zone, but I'm just assuming here UTC. Um, Right, what else there? We can see the data feeds of the FTSO signal providers. So we can see that all the signal providers of the, so all the different FTS, FTSOs are telling us the current prices of XRP, Litecoin, Stellar, Algo, and so on. We can also see the voting power, so that currently the Bifrost Oracle holds the most voting power of 145, I'm assuming here, million um, songbirds. So in this case, it would be wrapped songbird. Uh, we can see that the Scanny nodes are holding 117,000 million uh, votes and so on. So we can see the entire list there. Uh, how so? How seeing how popular they are, seeing the fee. So I'm just I'm assuming here this is the fee they're taking. We can also see the reward rates, which is pretty cool. So we can see how much they are paying out. So for each hundred songbirds you have, you can you get 2.8 songbird as reward. So in this case, 2.8%. So we can see rewards in a uh, reward rate of 3.3, 3.3. So what you could do is you could look for the best reward rate and then delegate it to the provider of the best rates. Uh, well, and or, or you could also look obviously up the signal providers if you trust them, if they're maybe in, in many different countries or maybe in a country near to you. So whatever your reason is for selecting those. But I'm just assuming here from an economical standpoint that people probably will also want to maximize their profits. So yeah, some some people might intend to go to uh, well, delegate their vote to FTSO to single providers uh, with, which have a higher reward rate. You can also see uh, the fee, which I'm assuming this is the fee they are charging there. Uh, what else is there? We can see in which countries they are. We can also uh, see the websites which they're running. So you, you can get more more information about the signal providers and also you can check rewards by just entering your address there. So that's what the website currently does. Um, I just quickly want to show you that website since it yeah offers interesting information and interesting metrics and maybe not everybody has, has known this website before. All right, so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.